I'm in red form In a red state, such a red case on a red song In a shared space with my shareholders cause we share a bond Spiritual healthcare, that's real self-care, you won't care for I got my Mets hat on to the back Y'all already know where we going with the stats Any artist that's talking garbage and try to curse us Y'all follow a wave and do whatever's current I follow his ways, I know my turn is coming Welcome to New York Giants Full Access Add it to the cart and we got you and That's it man, go purchase Big Pass Sports Talk merch and support the family man and welcome to big pass sports talk thank you for your support what's going on youtube instagram twitter all platforms welcome to another episode of new york giants full access with your boy big pass sports talk and today's episode is going to be a little bit of bad injury news for the new york giants our top playmaker um one of the captains of our team and one of the biggest playmakers in the NFL when he's healthy. And that's in quotes when he's healthy. Mr. Saquon Barkley, as you know, one of the last runs of the Arizona Cardinals comeback. Uh, he got rolled up on and he twisted his ankle. And he has an ankle sprain and they're saying it's going to be about three weeks before he can return. So we may miss him against... Well, we're going to miss him against the 49ers, and we may miss him against the Seahawks and the Miami Dolphins. Three very tough games against playoff teams. And we're going to be more than likely missing our biggest playmaker in Saquon Barkley. And I just want to explain what this means for Saquon Barkley. Um, this is very disappointing for him, as you can saw the frustration of him slamming his helmet on the ground after he got the news from the doctors it was actually turned out to be pretty good news because it could have been a lot worse it could have been a high ankle sprain or it could have been a torn ligament or a broken ankle it could have been anything worse than what a regular ankle sprain is um it's a little bit disappointing because he's coming into the season where he's wanting his money um and he's gonna have to perform to get that money and you can't perform if you're not on the field so, I know this is going to rear his ugly head again uh, for a lot of Giants fans. A lot of people going to come and say, you see, that's why you don't pay running backs. You see, Saquon Barkley, he's still the same. He's still an injured player. We can't rely on him. That's why we ain't giving him money. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just going to speak on this as far as a team aspect in his mind if i can you know speak for him a little bit i'm not saquon barkley so i really can't speak for him but this is just my point of view um i think he's very disappointed i believe the team is gonna be a, a, a little disappointed but you can't get down um just because one of your leaders is it has gone down it's the reason why we drafted eric gray it's the reason why we brought back Breida. it's the reason why brightwell is here you guys are going to have to step up in his absence. I know he's going to be on the sidelines giving you guys as much support as you need from him. Um, this is this is extremely unfortunate, man, because uh, I think he was going to I think he was on pace to having a, a, a year like he did last year, if not better. But the injury monster has riddled his head again against him. He seems to just sometimes just can't avoid it, man. It's 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 weird, man. We were just trying to run the ball to get in field, uh, get field goal position, and he he gets rolled up on, man. It's it's just weird, man. And I I, I hate it for him because this guy just keep it real. He gives a, he gives us his all every Sunday. I know he's had a couple of mistakes. He's caused a couple of turnovers already this year, but when we needed him down the stretch, he he turned into that monster. He got two touchdowns along with uh, Daniel Jones, a dynamic duo. I always call them a dynamic duo. They're always better together. They're always better when they're playing off of each other. Pause. So, we're going to have to step up. Uh, Daniel Jones is going to have to step up in the running game. 
Um, you're probably going to see Daniel Jones scrambling a lot more. I know a lot of people don't want to see that. The question I'm having is, who's going to step up at the running back position? Who deserves the chance to step up at the running back position? And who's the obvious choice to step up at the running back position? Is it Breida? Is it Eric Gray? Is it Brightwell? Can any one of those guys be a feature for for us moving forward against... <laughs> Man, this couldn't happen at a worse time going to play the 49ers. You know the 49ers are going to bring the pain when it comes to defense. And the running game was going to be hard enough with Barkley in there. Now that Barkley is not in there, it's looking a little rough. But can we use Breeder's speed to our advantage? Breeder's not the shiftiest guy, but he has some of the best straight line speed in the game. Eric Gray. He could do some things similar to Saquon Barkley, but at a way lower level. And now we're going to have to use Brightwell as the big back. Uh, he is 6'1", 225, 230, somewhere around there. Uh, we're going to have to use the T-bone, T-back set that we've been using just to get some yards. I don't know. You guys let me know. Um, I'm quite sure they're going to start Breida, but I don't know how many snaps they're going to give Breida. I don't know how they're going to split the snaps with Brightwell. I don't know how they're going to split the snaps with Gray. But now we have to go running back by committee. And that is the best case scenario for us is the running back by committee. Because me, honestly, I don't trust any one of those guys to be a feature back to where we just handed the ball off to them, telling them to get the job done. I don't think either one of those guys are that type of back. And we, we lose a lot of production uh, with Saquon Barkley getting injured once again. Man, I hate it for him, bro. Man, I hate it for him, man, because it, it, it's just like an injury just finds him, bro. It's weird. But we got to move on. Next man up. We got to get Daniel Jones out of the pocket and try to make some plays in the passing game. Hopefully, Waller can step up. Hopefully, Hyatt can step up. I think Paris Campbell's going to have to play a major role in this game coming up because we may have to throw some short passes and try to make some people miss. And he's the best at doing that on this roster right now. So, Saquon Barkley injured for three weeks. That's what they're saying. He may be able to come back sooner. Best case scenario, we may be able to get him for the Miami game. Um, that's probably best case scenario. It's a little frustrating, but we got to persevere. We got to push through. We got to pull through like we did against the Arizona Cardinals. And let's see if we can go out there and get an upset against the 49ers. They already have us 10-point underdogs. So that loss of Barkley probably added another five to six points more than likely. But we got to press on. We got to move forward. Saquon Barkley injured ankle again. Get healthy, big dog, because we're going to need you down the stretch. Glad it happened now. and Go ahead and get it out the way early in the season. But contract talks moving forward. This could be something used against, against him, unfortunately. Hopefully not. Hopefully he's a giant for the rest of his career. And we can win some games with the dynamic duo of Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley. But we're missing one of the dynamic duo and it's a little it's a little hard pill to swallow swallow but it is what it is and we gotta press forward so until the next episode of new york giants full access with your boy big pass sports talk giants news and rumors injury reports everything that you can ask for for new york giants you get it right here with the big blue crew network on here with big pass sports talk Hit that like button, hit that join button. I mean, hit the subscribe button, hit that big blue join button, and talk your talk with Big Pass Sports Talk, and join the Big Blue Crew. And until the next episode, you know what it is, man. Peace.